Hi, Jennifer Gregory here from Nifty Niffers Crochet and Crafts. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to make this lovely little tree motif. It would be great on a baby's afghan or on maybe a sweater, a neat little purse for a little girl. Many different ideas and options for it. This will probably be a two-part video to try and get it all in and keep the video time short. So you're going to need some yarn in green. This is Willowbro in mossy. Um, feels like it's a worsted weight, probably four ply. And some brown for the trunk. Bernat Super Value is what I've got right here, and it is a four medium. You're going to need a 4.5 millimeter hook. I don't know if you really need to see the number. Not very good at focusing that in. Okay, you get it. Um, some scissors, some little embellishments. I'm going to attach these using hot glue. You can use string or yarn or however you prefer. Um, did I say round markers? Scissors. And we're going to start. Start with a slip knot, wrap the yarn around twice, yarn over, so left loop over right loop, left loop over right loop and down finger and tighten up. Insert your hook and pull her tight. So once you've got your loop on there, chain two, one, two. Now you're going to place ten single crochets in your second chain from hook, so one, two. I'm going to place 10 in there. I always mark the first stitch with a round marker or a bobby pin. Bobby pins help, they don't get stuck as much. So one, two, Oops, eight, nine, and ten. It's actually quite hard to crochet through a camera. <laughs> so once you've got ten in there, for your second round, single crochet in your first stitch where your bound marker is to join. Remove your round marker and replace it into your new stitch. This marks your first stitch of your new round. Place a single crochet in the same stitch. Then place two single crochets in each stitch around. So once you've done that, you should have about 20 stitches in that. You should have actually exactly 20 stitches in that round. Then for round three, you will slip stitch to join. So insert hook into the same stitch as that round marker. Yo and draw it through, all the way through. Remove your round marker and replace it into the new stitch, marking your first stitch 
a round three. Now, half double crochet and double crochet in next stitch. Single crochet in next stitch. Double crochet and half double crochet in next stitch. Single crochet in next stitch. Half double crochet and double crochet in next stitch. Single crochet in next stitch. Double crochet and half double crochet in next stitch. Single crochet in next stitch. Double crochet and half double crochet in next stitch. Single crochet in next stitch. Half double crochet and double crochet in next stitch. Single crochet in next stitch. Double crochet and half double crochet in next stitch. Single crochet in next stitch. Half double crochet and double crochet in next stitch. Single crochet in next stitch. Double crochet in next stitch and half double crochet in the same stitch. Single crochet in next stitch. Double crochet and half double crochet in next stitch. Okay. For round four, slip stitch to join. So into the stitch with the round marker. Remove your round marker and replace it into your slip stitch to mark your first stitch in round four. Now for round four, try not to crochet around too tightly or you will get a lot of curling. See how this is already starting to curl. So, two half double crochet in next two stitches. So, one and two. One and two. Sorry. Just going to loosen up my yarn here. Slip stitch in next stitch. Two half double crochet in next two stitches. Single crochet in next stitch. Basically we're starting a pattern here. So we had started with a slip stitch to join, then we half double crocheted in next two stitches, slip stitch in next stitch, and we have two half double crochet in next two stitches, single crochet in next stitch, two half double crochet in next two stitches, and then we start over. So basically you're going slip stitch, two half double, two half double, single crochet, two half double, two half double. 
slip stitch to half double crochet next two stitches. Single crochet in next stitch. Two half double crochet in next stitch. Slip stitch in next stitch and two half double crochet in next stitch. Or in next two stitches, sorry. Single crochet, next stitch. Do have double crochet, next two stitches. And slip stitch. So you should be getting this shape. And you can kind of see how it's formed. Now the slip stitch, the two half double, the single, the two half double, the two half double, and then the slip stitch. So it kind of gives it a shape. So slip stitch, half double, two half double, next stitch. Two half double crochet in next stitch, single crochet, two half double crochet in next two stitches, slip stitch in next stitch, two half double crochet in next two stitches. single crochet in next stitch. Basically what I've got is this and it is pretty curly but once it gets sewn down to something it'll flatten out. Next part we are going to start the trunk and you'll be needing the brown I'm going to place it onto another video, so this will be part one of the tree motif. So when you're ready, move on to part two. Don't forget to subscribe. I have lots of things I want to post tutorials on, and being one of my first tutorials, I hope you like this tutorial, and um, I hope to improve on them. So let's move on and I'll see you in video number two.